Hey everyone, it's Jenny. I am back with a surprise that I am participating in um, the Will You Be My Galentine Swap Pop this year. So um, I was invited to um, participate with a bunch of other very talented and creative ladies. And so the theme is Will You Be My Galentine? And um, in addition to a YouTube pop, we're also doing a swap. So the way it worked was you would be given the name of somebody in one of the in who's participating and then you would send your swap to that person. Um, and then you would be receiving a swap from somebody else who's also participating. So you don't know who's who has you. Um, so it's just it's it's kind of fun because it's like a surprise. So um, I actually had Natasha, who is Polite Creations here on YouTube, and I think I actually did a swap with her through Tamika's um, one of her child her one of her swaps, but. Um, Anyway, I haven't done like a one-on-one -on -one or anything with her before. So I tried to like see like what she was interested in. And um, there's like a like getting to know you kind of a page on Coffee Cake and Crafting. And so I was kind of looking to see what her style was and what kind of color she liked and what her, you know, what her preferences are or dislikes. So part of what we had to do for the swap was to uh, make a flip, a seven by seven flip top gift box. And I will link the tutorial down below. It's from a lady, I think her name is Sam and she's from the UK and she does a lot of um, tutorials. So you might want to check out her um, YouTube channel if you haven't done so already. Um, and then in addition to the flip top box, you also had to make a banner. Um, with a minimum of three pennants, two sets of four embellishments, um, a goodie of your own choosing that fits the person's likes and dislikes, um, a plush goodie, and an edible goodie. So I'm not going to share all of the other stuff with you. I'm going to just share the things that I've made. So um, I did follow the tutorial by um, that lady from the UK. I think her, again, I think her name is Sam. Anyway, I will link her down below. And this is the um, flip top. Let me try um, my camera. Okay, so it's it's kind of a good size, right? It's seven by seven. Try and focus. Okay, and it does have a flip top. So when you open it, it has like that flip top, which is kind of cool. Um, and yeah, so what I ended up doing was, um, Natasha said she likes black and white, but she also likes rose gold and gold. And so I went with rose gold and gold more so, or pinks and golds, I guess. And, um, I ended up using the new, oh, what is it called? <laughs> it's the new Prima. It's the new Frank Garcia paper line with love by Frank Garcia. So this is... This is the paper pad that I used and um, I chose papers and I didn't use that much actually, not as much as I thought I would, but um, but that was kind of like the main theme that I went with. So I used this, um, I think it's like a swan paper and because mainly because it says, hello, my sweet friend. And then um, I thought this was really cute. This is one of the three by four cards that I got in the kit that came with the paper pad and it says, um, life is meant for good friends and great adventures. So I thought that that was really cute to give another girl. Um, and then I used the same paper on the back. So this time what I did was I um, matted it on some gold foil cardstock. Because um, like I said, I think she likes gold as what she indicated. Okay, so this flower is actually what I also got when I bought the kit. Um, it was a set of six six prima flowers as you can see i used this one and it came in different colors um and all it was when i looked at it and i saw somebody try do a tutorial but i didn't watch the tutorial is that they just had a heart and then they just put the flowers on it so um i ended up trying to do that in one of my projects which i'll share so going back to this i just went through my flower stash and i just kind of added a bunch of flowers <laughs> um i did cut this bow out of the new it's like actually for a slim lime card from kiss crafts it's a die um but i ended up not using the um the other part of it that makes it look like a present i just used the um the bow part of it 
So that is just how I decorated, sorry, how I decorated the outside of the box. And then inside the box, um, as you can see, it flips open and I have um, my embellishments in here, in here. Once I also packaged the banner, I didn't want to share it yet because um, I, did, I didn't want to package it yet because I want to share it and show you all the different parts of it. So um, I'll... Uh, I guess still got to package that part of it. Okay, so this is what I was talking about. I um, wanted to replicate the um, Prima flowers that um, I had gotten in the kit. And so it was actually pretty easy, you guys. And I didn't even follow a tutorial. I know there's tutorials out there. But what I did was I just die cut the heart. And you can cut it whatever size heart you want. Um, I die cut it out of felt. Just went through my scraps, actually. And I found a die the size I like. I like smaller embellishments because I feel like it's easier to use. And then I just picked a few flowers that um, kind of looked like the flower that was used by Prima. And I um, then took it apart, basically. So somebody had given me these flowers in a swap. Um, and then what I did was I just took it apart and then I... I started gluing it onto the flat onto the heart, um, but what happened is it sticks out because it's petals. So then I just trimmed along. Um, I turned it over and then I trimmed along the heart so that it would look nicer, more clean looking. Um, for the white one, I used um, daisies. Actually, I had some extra daisies, so I was using that to just so I could have different colors. Um, and then on top, I die cut i have a paper smooches die that has all of these different bows and more and i die cut it out of gold um and then i just used all of the different bows um just to give it a little accent and then i found my word beads and i decided to put that on because i was going to leave it plain but then i kind of didn't like it when it was plain <laughs> so then i that's how i ended up doing it and then as always i always mount it on a, um what is this called the when you laminate the sequins so I did that and then I did use one of the large bows that I picked up from Aliexpress um you'll see this bow throughout the theme of what I've been making so um this one I picked the white the iridescent one I just added a little pink glitter heart to it and then I um had extra of these felt hearts that I had used for this and from other parts of the projects that I've been doing so I just uh, put the paper clip on it and then I glued it to the back of the ribbon, I mean a ribbon, the bow. And then that way, if she wants to reuse this, she can reuse it for something, I don't know, give it to somebody else or she can use it for her own use. So I thought that that was kind of neat to I, i'm trying to do that more often so that these embellishments don't get wasted and people can actually use it later on if they want to okay so the other thing that i made um this is my other set of four embellishments is i made these bubble gum machines and these are actually an old sizzix die that i had for many years in fact if you look at my uh, youtube channel on the top i have a photo of when I actually made it and I don't know that I ever really used it I know I made it before um but I don't know that I used it on any projects but I, anyway I ended up um, making those again so I found my die and I um it's a it's several steps because you have to die cut the bubblegum machine and then you have to die cut the insides and the um turning part and then you then run the whole thing through the embossing folder and that's how you get the five cents on it and I really think that that's super cute so because she likes rose gold I had some rose gold mirrored cardstock and I used that um, and then I got some of the leftover paper from when I was making the um the box and I die cut the um the inside part of it so you can still see the five cents but it still kind of coordinates with the rest of the collection then what I did was I got some gold bows and then I put the little pink heart, pearl hearts on it. So that's one, I mean two of them. And then the other ones I did in pink glitter uh, cardstock. So this is the one I just got from Monty from the Polka Dot Pine Cone. 
And then I just used regular white cardstock here so you can see the five cents a little bit better. But what I did was I got some, I have this really pale pink um, heart sequins and so I just glued it all around the five cents just so it looks like there's hearts inside of the um, bubblegum machine. And then I instead of doing gold I did silver this time because I think that this pink matches with silver a little bit better and then I added the same pearl heart to that. So for the topper, I used um, the same paper from the collection. I just cut one of the strips down. And then I had gotten these, uh, what are they called? Felt doily hearts, I guess, from, they're from the Dollar Tree, but it's actually from Rosanna. Hi, Rosanna. So she sent me like this huge rack. You should go back and watch it because it's pretty epic. But um, anyway, so I, I glued two of them together it's not glued on this part because I didn't want the glue to show. And then what I also did was I got, oh, sorry. I did the same thing where I, um, I glued the paper clip inside in between. And so part of it is sticking out and that's the part you can still clip onto something. And then I had some of these doggies left over. So I just added that to the front of the, uh, the heart. And I didn't know if she likes cute stuff. I know she doesn't like cats. I know she likes dogs, but I don't know if she likes cute stuff. So I just decided to not put it on like the embellishments that I'm giving her. Instead, I just put it on this. So if she doesn't like it, she can just gift it to somebody else or whatever. And um, But it's still reusable, so you can still use it because it has a paper clip on the back. So anyway, that's the way that I packaged my embellishment. So that's the two sets of embellishments that I had to make. Um, and I'll probably add like shred. Now that I have a lot of shred from Rosanna, I'll probably add that in there as well. Okay, so then comes the banner. Oh, sorry, I wanted to also share with you like so you can see it better. So this is um, an extra one that I had. And so you can definitely see the embossing. Um, and I think that all that detail makes a big difference when you... Um, look at it like I really like it so since I had made three the reason why I made three of these is because I was actually going to use it on the banner but then after I started making the banner I decided that it didn't match and I didn't like it together so uh that's why I ended I'm like well I already have it made I'm gonna just give it to her as the um embellishment and what happened was I only had three. I needed four. I didn't want to make another one of this because I was running out of the rose gold cardstock. I already had these die cut, so that's why she got two and two. So now I have extra. So now I can use it on a project for myself. Okay, so then um, the last thing that I was really stressing out about was actually the banner. And I'm not really like a banner person. I made one banner recently and that was for Christian, but it was easy because it was, I had the theme of the doodle bug. I was just going to go through all of my stuff and add doodle bug images to it. And you know, I kind of figured she would like something like that. Whereas Natasha, her style is more um, neat and what is it called? Clean and simple. <laughs> not neat and tangled <laughs> clean and simple and she liked um well like the rose gold and the gold and black and white and so I kept thinking about it being clean and simple and I thought you know what maybe she would like um like the Ray Dunn look right instead so earlier I had shared and I don't have it near me but I had shared with you the Ray Dunn um the beaded garland that I had found at TJ Maxx and it was a lot of um, pastel beads and uh, let me try to find it so I can show it to you it was pastel beads oh gosh I think it lifted in the living room okay anyway it's um, pastel colored beads and uh, Ray Dunn font on hearts pink hearts and it had like little valentine sentiments so i was inspired by that and i just couldn't get it out of my mind and so the banner that i made was actually inspired by that ray dunn um, garland that i found so it's not it's i can't show you the whole thing here because it's just too long but what i did was instead of doing a banner that goes across or like horizontally i made a banner that goes that hangs down vertically so I hope she likes it. Um, I actually really liked it after I finished it. And I don't always like the projects that I sent out. So I, I told my husband, I kind of don't want to give it away. 
really like it so i hope she likes it as much as i do oh my gosh i'm like super nervous because um i've never even spoken to her before so i'm i'm hoping i got it right like what she likes but okay so what i did was i found um this th i had this die set by neat and tangled that's what i was thinking neat and tangled um and it is an alphabet set that uh it's very skinny and it looks like the radon font to me the only junk thing that i realized after i was die cutting is that this w look it's not connected all the way so my w's will never cut all the way through anyway i die cut like the whole alpha because i don't want to like take it all apart and for some reason this bottom row just wouldn't cut nicely so i don't know what i'm gonna do with that and as you can see it is rusting um here so luckily i had die cut it on black so you couldn't really see any of the rust but that kind of that's kind of concerning in the event that i i'm gonna cut it like on white later on anyway so what i did was i made a bunch of these um i had a white i mean not white i had a die set of hearts and um, I just picked out one, a larger one, so that I could fit the words on it because the font, I don't have control over this font. I was gonna try and cut it on my silhouette, but my silhouette has a hard time cutting really thin things. So I thought it was safer to just use the dies. That's why I did it that way. Um, because she likes black and white, I was originally gonna go with black and white, but I really felt like it needed some color. And I was gonna actually go with red, but I just, something just told me that she doesn't she might not like red and um and because I went with kind of more pinks in everything else I just, just decided to do pink so I finally used these bubblegum beads that I've had for a little while now and a lot of you were like what do you I want to see what you're gonna do with it and I really didn't know what I was gonna do with it so I'm finally using it so anyway I put the a bead and then I just tied a knot I, I did end up using black cord because I thought it would um, kind of go with the, the letters um, I did glue on a bow here on the back I added a heart um, to cover the string if it does turn around hopefully it won't and then this I die cut the heart several times on this 110 pound cardstock it's very thick um, so I did about three four I did about four so I did three and then I die cut one more for the back to hide the string so I just taped the string down um, behind and so it would lay flat and then I hot glued it onto this and it seems pretty sturdy like I don't think it's gonna get too damaged um, then I have another bubblegum bead then I did the words BFF because it's like Galentine and then I have another bead <laughs> see how long it is and then I did um, I was gonna do a black bow but then I felt like it was a little harsh so I went with a white bow I don't know maybe I should have done black but I used that same doily, felt doilies that um, Rosanna gave me, and I sandwiched the string in between there. And then I have another bead, and then I did one that says, you rock, and same thing, I have it in the back. And then I have another bead, <laughs> ah! and then I wrote cutie. And then I have another bead and then I finished it off with a bow. Now this bow, because it's at the end, it doesn't, like at the top, it'll kind of lay flat. But at the end, um, it doesn't, it keeps flipping around. So I just glued two bows together so that in the event it flips over, then it'll you'll still see another bow. What I should have done is I should have left the rest of the string down and made a tassel, but I, I had already cut it, so it was too late. Anyway, I hope um she likes the banner um i actually like it like i'm not a banner person <laughs> so i was kind of struggling with it and i think that's why i was procrastinating a little bit because i wasn't sure what i was gonna do but i think i'm pretty sure everybody nowadays likes ray dunn um i feel i feel like i'm late to the party when it comes to ray dunn stuff I, look i don't know how i'm gonna package this you guys i gotta figure out how i'm gonna do that but anyway, I hope she likes it. And who knows, maybe I'll make more of this kind of stuff. I am i don't know. It looks like I'm going to have to like use things that are kind of bigger because of the size of the font. But if I can figure out how to cut it on my silhouette, which I know a lot of people do. And I know people are selling like vinyl stickers 
using the Ray Dunn fonts. So I know it's possible, but I, I don't know. Sometimes I have a hard time with my silhouettes. So anyway, that is all that I have to share right now um, for this Galentine's Day swap. And I'm super happy and excited that I got asked to participate in this. So thank you, Brittany, for inviting me. And um, I will post who is after me. Sorry, I didn't look at the schedule before I got here. Um, so I, sorry, I don't know who's next. I'm gonna put it down below. Sorry, I'm super not prepared. But I'm just excited that I finally finished my project and I'm happy with it. And I need to get it ready to be sending off into the mail. So I hope you guys have a great Valentine's Day. And I wanna see what kind of projects you folks come up with. And I will talk to you guys in the next video. Bye!